Yes, the first race took place in 1973, in July 1973, and it was organised by George Broderick, who came from the Isle of Man. But I think there were about 23 or 24 people took part in 1973, and I came back in 1974, having loved it. And then I didn't come back in 1975, and then the race lapsed, the numbers had dwindled, and fell running wasn't the big event, the big uh, sport then that it is now. I came up in 1982 to see if anybody locally would be interested in making it happen, like I knew we needed people to man the checkpoints and things. Um, William MacDonald, one of the stalkers, said, Donald, you bring the runners, we'll do the rest. And that's precisely what happened. I went away and we got, I think, 48 runners in 1983. Um, and the, the race just grew from there, and, uh, and, the, and the Islanders have done everything else. And now, well, I mean, the race wouldn't run without the Jura's uh, help. For me, the big excitement is, I guess, that it is a Jura event now. The course uh, is a circular route run clockwise from Craig House to Craig House. Uh, it takes in the three paps of Jura, um, named not for the number, but the shape. Um, and three peaks before them and then one after them. It's only 16 miles long. It involves 7,500 feet of ascent and descent. 7,500 feet of as ascent are in the first 10 miles. Um, and the record, the best time, is just under three hours, seven minutes at the moment. So what that really means is that the race is 10 miles shorter than the marathon that takes the winner an hour longer than a marathon would take. The race itself, the course is just fabulous. Aesthetically, it's very pleasing. It just feels right. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place to come to. It's not just a race. Many races are beautiful, but people turn up, they run in the race, attend the prize giving, go home again. Uh, with Jura, people come for the weekend, they come for the week, they come for several days. Uh, they make an event of it. It's an event, not a race, I suppose. And uh, the Islanders, for me, I, I sense a real, I can feel the goodwill of the Islanders towards the, the runners and the runners towards the Islanders. Uh, one thing that sticks out to me was in the very first race in 1973, funnily enough, there was one, one of the runners, Jimmy Jardine, hadn't been seen for a long time and we were all a bit concerned about him and we began to walk back up the road to see if anybody had seen him and uh, he came j jogging in and it turned out he'd been chatting over the garden fence to one of the locals for a long time uh, but he came in across the finish line he was beaming from ear to ear he, we said jimmy where have you been he said i found an airplane on the first pap he said couldn't he leave it alone he said i tried to get it started but i couldn't he? and um, <laughs> It's a long time ago, but I, it still makes me smile at them in the memory of it. The, the, uh, running the race was less important than being on Jura and enjoying what Jura had to offer. And I think that's still what it's about. It's not just about running in a race. It's coming to Jura and enjoying everything that Jura is and has to offer.